G'day. Day five of the 90 day Sioux Fitness Challenge. And this vlog is dedicated to my good friend, Ryan Ross. He uh, motivated me to actually go out bike riding today. He created a gift uh, a few days ago with his wife. So as part of his routine for the challenge, so I thought I'd do the same. So I'm gonna do that this weekend. This is my, my beast. Funny thing is, I bought this in January and it's a $1,500 racing bike, which I bought for 500 bucks and I haven't actually ridden it until today. So I hope I don't cause uh, injury. Anyway, um, see how I go. Looking good so far. Day five of the Sioux Fitness Challenge. And I was inspired by Ryan Ross to take my bike out for a spin. So this is my maiden voyage, so to speak. I haven't actually ridden a bike for uh, goodness knows how long, a couple of years. So my main motivation is actually to stay In a case of spontaneity, I bought this bike off a of work colleague. Her son was selling it, he was a triathlete, just wanting to get rid of it, I guess. A purpose-built racing bike worth $1,500, which uh, I purchased for $500. This is the first time I've ridden it since January. Rider on your right, thank you. So I'm going for a ride through to Hatchwin Park. Same park I went for a run with Tierney the other day, but I'm gonna go for a little bit of a longer ride, obviously. I was gonna do 10 kilometers, but I'll just see how I go. Like I said, this first week, it's literally me getting back on track, so I don't wanna overdo it. Everything I'm doing so far, I'm taking it easy, so I don't wanna burn myself out and get too sore, to the point where I then don't wanna do anything the following week, so steady as she goes. So far, so good, but I've only traveled one kilometer so far, so that's nothing much. Although, having said that, I'm starting to feel the burn in my legs. Uphill on the way back. Rider on your right. G'day. I'm at the four kilometer mark, approaching five k's. I think I'll stop and have a drink break at the five clicks mark. Okay, so I'm taking a quick uh, pause, a bit of a drink break. I made it to Joel's Park late. I didn't expect to ride this far. This is my first time on a bike in a couple of years now. I was feeling pretty good, so 20 k's by the looks of things. I just hope my um, tires don't get a puncture. I'll uh, give you a quick look. It's not a bad area, pretty open space, as you can see. Wide open space, that's what I love about where I live here in the southeast of Melbourne. Uh, lots of open space, we're only 20 kilometers. 30 kilometers away from the city. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting to uh, ride my bike for as long as this, so 20 kilometers I'm pretty happy with. Yay, feeling great. Now, the funny thing, in my haste to get out here to ride my bike and to film this vlog, I totally forgot to wear my helmet. It's a law here in Australia that all bike riders have to wear helmets, and I forgot. Let's hope I don't get into an accident and it is pretty likely to happen. Bugger, no. Nah. My legs feel like jelly. Oh, that's a disappointment. Made it to the top. Let's see if I can cycle the rest. It's still a bit of a hill. Oh. Okay, well, hopefully I can build up my endurance and leg strength 
We might get up to that top of that little hill next time. And there we have it. Just shy of three kilometers. I wasn't really expecting to go that far. Oh, happy I did though. Okay, just finished. I was shy of 20 kilometers. My legs feel like jelly. All right, I've got to get uh, ready, have a quick shower, take Nikolai to his soccer game. Ciao for now.